or cowboy hats otherwise. That's the stuff that you generally learn the most from. And you can't choose to learn this. It's not like signing up for that course. It's the times you get your butt kicked. That's when you learn some of the hardest lessons and some of the most valuable lessons. So 10 years from now, when you're sweating it in your gig, doing whatever, think back and be like, okay, but was it as bad as that time that I had to do, you know, most of a semester online? And probably not. You know, I think back to hard stuff that I've had to deal with. It's like, those are the things that really you can reflect on and use as kind of a goalpost for like, okay, how hard is what I'm doing right now? Is it harder than that? Probably not. Okay, then I've got this, in other words. So you got through this and whatever else is coming, you're gonna get through that too. So that's my bit. Thank you, Graham Francis, for those inspiring words. Yes, give it up for Graham. Uh, so so uh, let's, let's uh, get things rolling for real now here. So as uh, you may have realized, Wind Ensemble folks, there's quite a few guests in the room right now. And uh, the, the, the point of this is um, we want to send the seniors out with uh, as much of a hurrah as possible. So, uh, so I went ahead and invited back um, every guest we've had in the past four years and uh, every alum that I could find in the last four years. Now, not everyone, of course, could be here, but there's a great number of, of them here. So uh, they all have uh, some very brief words for you. Uh, uh, Dr. Francis may have gotten a little carried away there. That's okay. But uh, let's first acknowledge who the seniors are. I'm looking around and I, I believe I see all of them. Rusty, say hello. Or don't. Okay, fine. Um, Nick, say hello. Howdy. There he is. Rosie, where are you? On the floor at work. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Thank you for being here anyway. Um, Christina, where are you? Hello. And Bryant. Hello, hello. Hello. The, these are our seniors. And do we have Becca also? Is Becca here? I just texted her to get on. Yeah, yeah, get on here, Becca. What's what's with you? Um, I just texted so, her. So the these are our seniors. Uh, they're having just quite the end of the semester where we, we were lucky. We got to put on a concert dedicated to them in March, on March 5th. We were probably one of the last oh. concerts in New York State. Um, but then the world, uh, yeah, not not by, by, you know, this much. Thank you, Chris Wilhelm. Um, uh, yeah. But and then we had to do the rest of the semester like this. So I thought it'd be nice to invite all these people back and recognize the seniors. So I have a list of everyone who I think is here. Uh, and I'm going to, when I say your name, uh, just say your piece to the seniors. Now, I don't know that everyone on my list is here or not here, and I may miss a, pe a person or two, but um, the, I, I, I'll have a message at the end too about why we're doing it this particular way, but really this, this is for recognizing seniors. So guess who's first? Courtney Arlington. Hello, everyone. Um, seniors, I met a lot of you when you first arrived on campus. Um, and now you're all grown up and you're to graduate and go out into the world for your goals and never stop learning. Thank you, Courtney. Um, we also have, uh, Courtney, by the way, class of 17, trumpet player and wind ensemble. James Barrett, what class year were you, James? Um, 2015. 2015. So James, you're a saxophone player. You now have your master's in conducting, right? Uh, just graduated my master's last spring. That's correct. Nice. So what do you, what do you have to say to our seniors? Congrats. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, just, I know there's quite a few of you I've been able to see in a short period of time. Some of you, not so much, but like I said, I know time to challenge them, but just continue doing amazing things and you'll go very far and hopefully we'll cross paths again or for the first time. All right. Thank you, James. Uh, we have Paul Blake, who is class of 01, uh, also uh, a faculty member and our soloist on our honor band 2018 concert. Uh, Professor Blake. Hey, Paul. 
How are you? And uh, congratulations, seniors. Um, I missed being with all of you. I'm jealous of most of you because I see all of your hair growing, and mine is not. Um, <laughs> if you saw me a couple weeks ago, I had a full beard, but that had to go away. So my uh, words of wisdom to you would be um, strive for being yourself. Don't, don't try to be anything else but yourself, and you'll be just fine. Um, work hard. I just got the most amazing letter and, and you'll always receive letters from your students, you know, thanking you and But I, I this one really got to me and uh, if you know me very well the tear ducts in my body don't work at all But this time they did they really it really got to me. So um, It just was kind of confirmation that I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing You all are amazing people. You're very talented and you're gonna do very well It's, really, it's great to know you and don't don't be strangers go back and say hi <laughs> Thank you, Paul Blake. Uh, I see I skipped uh, Brittany Bertola and Matt McKenzie who just signed on. So Brittany Bertola, Matt McKenzie, offer your words of wisdom to our seniors, please. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, my words of wisdom for seniors. You are more prepared for life than you think you are. <laughs> nice. That is wow. my experience. <laughs> Brittany concurs? All right, good. <laughs> I agree. I concur. <laughs> good. Uh, do we have uh, Professor Campbell on the line? Uh, Bo, by the way, before we go on, Matt McKenzie, Brittany Bertola, class of 2019, um, uh, uh, outstanding musicians, uh, clarinet and uh, percussion, uh, joined Blue Shades last year. That was awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. You're more prepared than you think you are. Professor Campbell. Uh, she was, our, of course, faculty member, regular, and was our soloist in fall of this, just this past year on Rhapsody in Blue. Professor Campbell, what do you got to say to our seniors? Well, first of all, congratulations. You got this and keep striving. Stop by any time. You know, my office is open. Thank you. We have guest composer from fall 2019, Oliver Kaplan. Oliver, thank you for being here. <laughs> Hey, Auntie. Also, hi, Joanne. Um, I just wanted to say, wherever your path takes you, remember the joy that you've found in Wind Ensemble and keep making music in some form. It's so important. Thank you. Now, we have uh, some regulars with us as well. Brian and Marissa Delbeni are class of 2008. Do you guys want to offer any congratulations? Well, I made a sign. Oh. Let's okay, so congratulations. <laughs> and, and no matter where awesome. or what you do, I mean, I work in IT and I still play. So it, no matter if you go to a community that's really rinky dink and tiny, see if they have some place to go play, do something. Thank you. Uh, we have with us Chris Dobbins. He's at the band director at Washington Lee University. He was our guest conductor in spring of 2018. Yeah, I just I, I want to say congratulations. We're happy for you and we're proud of you. And I know uh, it sucks to kind of have to go out this way in some ways. But I think if there's a silver lining, the silver lining is that what we've all had to learn um, over the course of the last few weeks of this semester is that uh, is the importance of adaptability and flexibility and uh, taking the, the, a bad situation and making the best of it. And believe it or not, those are all really marketable skills, not only in music, but, uh, but across the board. Uh, and so just remember when you feel like you're in a down situation uh, that you had to go through this and that you're adaptable and that you're flexible and that you'll be able to start at the bottom and build your way up and you'll be great. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Chris. We have uh, from the Honor Band 2017, the very first one, Kurt Abersall. Hey guys, nice to see you again. Thanks for inviting me back, Andy. Absolutely. Congratulations, seniors. This is an immense triumph for you guys to have muddled through this these last couple months and to be at this point. I want to encourage you to think back on this and think about your grand, your great grandparents. Maybe some of you for great great grandparents who um, survived the First World War, lived through the Great Depression and into the Second World War. Those experiences unlike anything like this, but that made them strong people. That's what raised the greatest generation. In many ways, this experience for all of us is going to propel us forward in much the same way. So best wishes and good luck to you all. Thank you.
from that same event, although you know her uh, from our regular lives as well, uh, Dr. Ana Laura Gonzalez, she was a soloist with us in uh, Honor Band 2017 and your beloved theory, et cetera, teacher. So, Dr. Gonzalez. Well, first of all, also congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, this might sound like a commonplace, but it always comes for the faculty when, when you guys graduate. That bittersweet moment when we're very happy for you, but we're very sad that we won't get to see you uh, anymore and that we let you go. However, with the years, we learned that it is with uh, circumstances that, that it, life is cyclical. And it is an unprecedented moment like this that I get to see Kyle Murray and Mike Turry and people that I haven't seen in years and James. And I'm sorry, I'm not mentioning all these, all the ones that I can see right now on the screen. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to see you, although it's not in the, in the circumstances. But Win Ensemble, it is a great uh, place to see you all. And I'm very happy that you're around and, and doing well. And in my, my little, little tiny word of wisdom is, um, if you are thinking that you're going into the world of uncertainty, when in doubt, always do. Always do. Even if it's little, if it is if it's something that you don't know whether it's gonna work, even if you are certain that it might not be what you're gonna do, but always do. Thank you, Dr. G. Wonderful. Do we have uh, Professor Hain in the building? B building. Our beloved chair. Up here. Hi. Up here. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I got on. I got on uh, a couple of minutes in. I've been enjoying listening to all of these um, notes of uh, words of wisdom, notes of congratulations to our seniors. Um, I want to, of course, add my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, I have only been in this role briefly, but I've been with the department for quite a while, and I've seen, and I'm really enjoying getting to see. Um, uh, folks from from years gone by, as Dr. G said, it, it, this is a, an unexpected treat. Um, the uh, I, the words of wisdom I have are: you never know what life's going to deal you. You can wake up the next day and just and the world can suddenly be a different place, and you do have to adapt and you do have to roll forward. So just don't let things stop you. Just Try to, you know, solve them problems one at a time. Try to find joy along the way, inspiration. Um, I left music school and I ended up in technology as a career and I ended up in an office job in a corporation. But all the while I was performing because that was my love. I never wanted to, you know, get away from that. And eventually I decided to turn my careers around and, and trade out the, the administrative office stuff for um, re-engineering my life to go back to music as as my as my main working and I've really enjoyed all of those experiences along the way and I've learned I've met some very interesting people um, in all of those different career pods so I just want to put that out that you might have an idea of like oh this is what I'm gonna go off and do and that may be what you start out doing and you may end up doing that for well, quite a while but then again you may end up doing something completely different in a few years and you know it, that's okay uh, you don't have to have you don't have to have your vision ironed out right now just be open to like what the river of life is going to like pass in front of your eyes and you know you're going to you're going to know when to jump onto the boat that's going by and and ride it for a while and then try the next one so um uh, thank you, Professor Hain. Thank you Wonderful. for giving me all those minutes to like blather on. <laughs> it's okay. You're, you're, you're a professor. That's what you do. Uh, we have uh, from, uh, from both spring 2019 and fall 2019 guest composer Joanne Harris. Welcome, Joanne. Oh my gosh, seniors, congratulations. Uh, I would like to issue a challenge for you. Um, first, you have to remind me what your special skill talent show is called. Uh, hidden talents. Hidden talents. My challenge is that now that we know what's possible with technology, which is a great deal of things, 
Um, I issue the challenge that at least every five years, you congregate to have a hidden talents reunion because I think you'll find as you go on in life, reminding yourself and your friends of levity is a really important survival skill. And so I'm just happy for the times we got to spend together and all the hidden talents I got to hear about. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. Uh, Jordan Kinsey was our, our guest conductor just this past fall. Uh, doing Wade in the Water. He's the music director of Delaware Winds. Uh, Jordan, what do you got for us? Hey, everybody. I don't, I don't have my uh, camera on. My computer's in the dock, so I apologize, but I'm here. Um, everybody else already took all the good stuff. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Dr. Dobbins, for stealing all the smart things to say. Um, I will say that the exciting thing about life, you know, we're, we're, you're, you're leaving college in, in sort of a, in some uncharted water, but isn't that exciting? I mean, the exciting thing about life is not ever knowing what's around the next corner and what the next uh, challenge is going to be. And, and uh, as I look back on my life, the, the times that the phone has rang out of the middle of nowhere and there's been some new opportunity or some new thing that's just completely dropped out of my life is what keeps me going. Uh, so I think this has proven that to all of us as we never know what's next. So uh, look forward to the next challenge. It'll be exciting. And congratulations. Thank you, Jordan. Um, we have visiting composer from fall 2019, Chris Lamb, also wrote something for Brass Ensemble a couple years ago. Chris. Yeah, hey guys, uh, congratulations. What an incredible uh, achievement you guys have uh, you've made. Uh, th this group here and the people that you met in the years that you were in school are going to be uh, a sort of foundation for the rest of your life. Uh, keep those contacts and those memories close uh, because uh, they're not just going to go away tomorrow. Um, they're going to be with you for the rest of your life. And uh, it's a really beautiful thing. So congratulations. All right. Thank you, Chris. We have a um, two-time visitor from spring 18 and fall 19, composer Michael Markowski. What's up, seniors? Uh, were you guys even alive when like What's Up was a thing back in the 90s? Um, <laughs> no, they were not. We should go back to the 90s right now. Uh, my advice to you is that there are a lot of roads to New York City. You could get here by plane, you could get here by train, you could get here by walking. It really doesn't matter how you get somewhere so long as you get where you're going. Thank you, Michael. Wonderful words. We have an alum, uh, trombonist, Charlie McCabe, 2018. Charlie. Uh, congratulations, everyone. Um, gonna steal Brian's advice and say, still find a group to play with. I know you'll, you'll seem like you're too busy, but it's worth it and it's easier schedule than you think. Thank you, Charlie. I echo those words to the end to the end of the of the world. Um, we have Leah McGray, our guest conductor from the uh, spring of 2020, just uh, spring of 2019. That is just a year ago. Leah. Hey everyone, thank you for inviting me. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it to everyone else. Congratulations, you made it through the semester. Good job. Um, I'm, my challenge and my little mini valedictory speech is to uh, show the world what it, what it means to be a band citizen. Um, there's three things in that. It's always better to include other people. It's always more fun when the band is big. <laughs> the second one is your part doesn't necessarily need to be the same as anyone else and that's okay. And the third part is just because the instruments look different doesn't mean that they're not important. We need all of those things to make everything successful. And so if you can take that and share that with the world, no matter what your path, you're gonna bring so much light and beauty and joy to everyone. Congrats again, everyone. Thank you, Leah. Um, we have an, another alum uh, who actually came out of alumdom to, to play with us a couple of years ago and now is back to say hello. This is Kyle Murray, class of 15, trumpet player. Hello, congratulations everyone. 
truly all the wisdom is out. Charlie and Brian took what I was going to say and Leah just took my backup. So <laughs> really what everybody is saying is absolutely true and congratulations on where you're going to be. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, let's see. You've got, I've lost track of my list here for a second. Nina Savasta, class of 17, another trumpet player. We have a few of those. Hello. Uh, yeah, at this point, everyone's taken pretty much everything, but uh, I'm going to say the same thing I said to the first group of kids I taught after college. Um, it's okay if things don't, if you have a plan after college and it doesn't work out, that's fine. Just kind of go with it. Um, I was given a full-time offer for a job right out of college, and I realized that it was made out of desperation from the school because it was three hours after my interview with no music teacher in the room. Uh, I chose not to take it. I did not get a full-time job out of college like I planned. Um, and that ended up being for the better because I ended up getting a long-term gig in a national blue ribbon high school, which was very nerve wracking for a college graduate. But it's okay if things don't happen the way you plan. If you, you know, if, if you don't get into the grad school you wanted to get into, that's okay. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Um, you just have to adapt. This is kind of the best situation to learn how to adapt to and be flexible. Thank you, Nina. Uh, another alum uh, from the class of 2018, a horn player, Monica Shatley. Hello, Monica. Hello, friends. Um, I would say, you know, congratulations, class of 2020. Um, if you continue through life with flexibility and an open mind, then you can succeed with anything. So good luck, guys. Thank you, Monica. And did I see Mark Stickney in the room? Yes, Mark Stickney of the Seacoast Wind Ensemble was our guest conductor in uh, the spring of, was it 2019? It must have been, that, that's right, Lighthouse. 2019. <coughs> World, so, World congratu <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, all the good things really have been taken. At least I'm glad my name doesn't end with W, Dr. Wilhelm. Good luck with uh, what you have to say after everyone's done. Um, not everyone. First, my advice is, not everyone. First, my advice is return phone calls. Dr. Pease, I, I apologize, I owe you a phone call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you owe me a adult <clears throat> beverage for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, check your email. Uh, my second advice, uh, honestly, is just, uh, we've talked, you know, a lot of people have talked about, you know, not knowing what, what life brings for you, but uh, live in the present moment, enjoy what you have right in front of you. Um, it could get better, it might get worse, you never know, but it always will be what's right in front of you. So enjoy what's right there. And congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Mark Stickney. Uh, we also have uh, Dr. Jonathan Sweet. Uh, he was our guest conductor fall of 2017, the very first one uh, that I think we had with, with me. Uh, and uh, he's now on the band uh, faculty at Purdue University. So Dr. Sweet. Hey everybody and uh, congratulations class of 2020. Um, I'll tell you, when I went out to Hartwick, it was quite the memory. Uh, it was great getting to go out and see Dr. Peace's group and to meet all the, the great faces, go to Cooperstown and all sorts of things. And uh, I like to say I made a memory, you know, and that's kind of like what we're going through right now. We can say, hey, we made a memory. We, we, we won't forget all this quarantine and we won't forget online learning for a long time. Um, and, you know, good or bad, that's something that I've taken in my life is, um, hey, I made a memory. Um, so I can reflect on it and move on. So I wish you all the very best and uh, congratulations again. Thank you so much. We have another alum, uh, percussionist, Mike Turry, class of 2017. Hello, Mike. Hi guys. Nothing much really to add on to words of wisdom. Everyone said a lot already, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to say congratulations. And Jess is here too. She wanted to say hi to people. But just okay. congratulations, congratulations to everyone. To it's gonna go. Okay. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Jess, you can stick around if you want. Uh, we got another alum, uh, Emily White, class of 17, flute player. Emily. 
be friends. Um, you know, a lot of people have said similar things throughout this, but just remember um, all the great successes you've had up until this point. Your successes do not end with your graduation. They keep going. Um, there's so many things to accomplish out there. It doesn't have to be musically. It can be anything. Um, so just keep remembering to strive forward. You're gonna, you're gonna do great things continuing on. Thank you, Emily. Uh, we have our honor band conductor from 2018, Chris Wilhelm, excuse me, Dr. Chris Wilhelm. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, everybody. Uh, I remember my time in Hartwick well. Uh, Hartwick was always a place I wanted to visit. And because I got to, to go to Hartwick, I got to meet many of you and Paul. And uh, one of the things I want to share with you is that uh, I've been thinking of my dad a lot lately. And my dad was a high school band director of some repute. He had a very successful program. He went to Westchester in Pennsylvania and um, he, worked him, he's, he worked his way up the hard way. He, he got a middle school job right away and went to another middle school job and then to a high school job and to a high school job and so on and so on. And he developed many really fine high school bands. And here in New Jersey, he had quite a reputation. Um, my dad once said to me, that uh, there were students that he went to school with, some of whom I knew at that point. I was in high school myself. And um, he said, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them were smarter than me or they played better than I did. He said, I think the reason I was as successful as I was is that I was willing to work harder. And I was thinking about that because I've been thinking about my dad a lot the last 24 hours. But I'm looking around this group of people and I see, and I see Kurt and Andy and, and Paul and, and Michael, who we don't even know each other, Michael, do we? We haven't met, I don't believe. But I know your music and, 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 and Mark. And these people are hard, hard workers. And they've made a difference. And Andy especially. I, I've known Andy for a while now, super band friends. Super band friends. And what bag Super need? band friends. And yeah. And th the way this man has grown and developed in the last 10 years boggles my mind. So all of you have this great example before you. And I'm not just, uh, no, I can't say that. Blowing smoke. I'm not just doing that, Andy, because all these guys know you and they know this is true. Um, take that example, emulate that. I had my dad, Frank Battisti, who some of you know of. They were super hard workers. So I, I just share that with you. It's, it's been on my mind and I wish you all great success. Thank you so much, Chris. That, uh, that, that hit me right in the heart in a good way. That's, that's so kind of you. Um, uh, onward. <laughs> uh, Dylan Young's class of 19 was never actually officially a wind ensemble member, but he played Godzilla and Godzilla Eats Las Vegas in the spring of 2018. And he joined us on percussion on and off throughout the rest of the time. So Dylan, say hey. Hey, everybody. Um some things to say for the seniors. Uh, some things that I've learned since graduation would be life's a game and it's the best game. Um, you've just beaten the tutorial, congratulations. <laughs> um, and it's through life's many, 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 many adversities that you will level up and you'll gain experience and you'll do all of these wonderful things. And just know that in every game, in every level, in every dark cave, in every spooky dungeon, there's always music. Thank you, Dylan. I, how did I, how was I not, not surprised that you would work in a video game reference? Uh, thank you. Uh, one more alum, uh, Melissa Zimmerman, class of 14, sax player. Uh, did, uh, 
Melissa, I don't think we've ever actually worked together, but I'm so glad you're able to be here. What do you got to say to our seniors? Thanks for inviting me. Um, how do I follow that one up though? Um, I'm looking around here and seeing so many faces um, that just make my heart so happy. Um, and I hope that you guys, as you, you know, you continue on, um, remember that what you came from is something really special. Um, that's a part, I mean, Hartwick is, is just a really special thing. Um, keep in touch with your people and it's so beautiful to come back and uh, to this. I mean, you, ha you always have something to come back to. So key, uh, keep that. Thank you, Melissa. Now, uh, you're the last one alphabetically. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, is, did I miss anybody? Um, or does anyone not on the <coughs> guest list want have something to say? You can you should just speak up if so, because I can't see everybody. Oh, Dr. Sheehy, hello. Go ahead. Sure, I'll say something. <laughs> Seniors, um, you represent the senior class that covers me and Dr. Pease's first full four years at Hartwood College. So it's emotional always to say goodbye to our seniors, but this feels ultra emotional. Um, my advice for you is to fake it till you make it, which sounds, I mean, it's, it, we hear that all the time, but you have everything you need to go out into the world right now and make your start. But sometimes you'll falter in your confidence and that's when you need to fake it. We know that you have what it takes. And if you can't tap into that, just fake it until it comes back because you've got it. We know you've got it. We know you, you're going to be fine. But when you lose that confidence, fake it. I've never heard truer words. Fake it till you make it. It's kind of true. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Okay. We have one more uh, message then. This is from, uh, Dr. Matt Westgate, who could not be here uh, tonight, Sa similar reasons as Dr. Francis, he had to put children to bed, um, but he recorded a message to send us. I'm going to go ahead and screen share this, and I hope it works. Share. Yes, we're going to share. All right. Can everyone see? Let's find out. Here we go. Greetings from Western Massachusetts to the Hartwick College Wind Ensemble and the senior class of 2020. Uh, I'm thankful for this opportunity to say a few words to you. Um, I hope that we can find some positives from all of this. And the first thing I would say that this is teaching us is that change is constant. We never know what's going to happen. And related to that, I would say, I hope that it's teaching all of us that we should appreciate what we have when we have it. Um, I know I would give a lot to have another uh, rehearsal with my, my, my own students and I'm sure you're feeling the same way. The other thing I hope is teaching all of us is how important uh, our relationships are with our friends and our families. Uh, I know that that's getting me through this, these tough times. Um, and the last thing I would say is that it's teaching me that art is important. Um, I know that right now the uh, essential workers are all doing their jobs and we're just kind of waiting uh, for us to be able to get back to being artists, but uh, artists full time, I should say. But uh, art is important and music is important. And I'm, I'm thankful that you have chosen to include that in your life. And I, I hope that you uh, going on do continue to do that because that will give me hope. So um, thank you so much for allowing me the chance to speak and I wish you the best of luck. Stay healthy, stay safe. All right, that was Dr. Matthew Westgate. R reminder, he was our guest conductor uh, the, the, our most recent guest conductor at our November concert uh, uh, back, you know, when, when the world still worked, <laughs> November 2019. Um, so uh, now, now uh, if there's nothing else, last call. All right. Um, I have a message. Uh, I, had, I wrote this out so I wouldn't get it wrong. Uh, it's short, I promise. So seniors, hi. Um, this hasn't been an ideal end to your time at Hartwick, I know, but we've gathered all these people here to remind you all of the memorable and unique experiences you've had here. The common thread through all of this is community. 
with you and through you, we've built a community together that we call Wind Ensemble that extends far beyond just Anderson. You seniors have been an integral part of this community. You have made a difference in this community and we will miss you terribly as you go on from here. So thank you for four or however many <laughs> wonderful years it's been. It's been a true pleasure. And now we're going to send you off proper. Uh, we're not, we didn't totally abandon the, 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 the thing um, where we uh, learn a tune by ear. So we're going to learn a tune by ear tonight. Um, this tune is Pomp and Circumstance. So everyone, uh, let's get those instruments warm again. We're going to learn a little Pomp and Circumstance by ear. You ready? Uh, Brian, could you deliver us a concert B flat, please? Sure, you really want me to be unmuted? Yes. Everyone else, go ahead and mute yourselves. <laughs> wow. Okay, something like that. Oh, we're getting the tour of Markowski's apartment here. I think I just saw the entire thing. Oh, and look, we got uh, we got the Bertola. And the I didn't know we had to have an instrument. I had to go run and get an instrument. So I have a shaker. Oh, uh, nice. Is it is it a um, is it a one shot shaker? No. Oh, cool. All right. So uh, it's a cheap. Keep the shaker. So we're, we're learning pomp and circumstance in concert B flat. All right, concert B flat. And lucky for you, it starts on B flat. That should be pretty simple. So uh, we should really have everyone else muted here. I think we're in good shape. Uh, here's the first phrase. It's a lot of stepwise motion, but you'll find there's a lot of places where uh, it jumps unexpectedly. So here's the first little phraselet. Try that on your own, just that much. That One, two, ready, and. Oh good, someone forgot to mute. Mute yourselves, folks. Be kind, rewind, no. Um, boy, older reference, how about that? Uh, <laughs> One more time, just listen. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? So you should end up on concert F. Try it once again. Okay, so that should be the end of your first phrase. Okay, boy, and the the chat is is on fire right now. My goodness, ah. Oh. Poor, poor Mark Stickney stuck without a horn. You can learn it. You can just, just do, do the fingering. Okay, so we've gotten that far. That's our little first little phraselet. The next one starts one whole step lower than we just ended. So one scale step lower. Uh, listen. Listen again. Okay, take it away. One, two. Second phrase. Okay, let's do that much together from the beginning. From the beginning, and and like you're still on mute, that is, because it doesn't work when more people, more than one person plays at a time. One, two, with me. so far. Okay, so you should have ended up on concert C, yes. So we go up a scale step from there and then something hooey happens. You can't quite stick with the B flat scale in this next phrase. See if you can hear it. Listen. Oh, I almost
almost played a wrong note there. I apologize. Let me give that to you again. Try it. One, two, ready, and. Okay, and the last one's easy. Starts on contrapuntal flat again, and it goes like this. Starts on B flat and it just goes down. Try it. One, two, ready, go. Okay. We have, we're moving a bit on the quick side now. Let's try that much, those four phrases together. Here we go. Uh, from the top, starting on contra B flat. Why? Oh, I'm on the second screen. That's why. Oh, I couldn't see me. There I am. Hi. All right, here we go. Starting on the, on the beginning. One, two, ready. So that's the first half. Now, good news, the second half is much the same. It starts to get a little different at the end, but let's play the, the second half up to the point where it changes. So it's just like starting, starting the, the main thing. So the main tune goes like this. Play with me. One, two, ready. <sighs> from here it takes a totally different direction okay it goes way up now see if you can figure out the interval I'm gonna start on that third phrase and then play the fourth phrase <laughs> Did you hear that it's going way up there I'll play it again third and fourth phrase of this second half <laughs> Hint, you'll end up on concert D if you get it right. Try one more time all together. One, two, third phrase. <sighs> And then it goes on. Uh, there's just two more phrases. And I'll just I'll just give you both of them. And it, this is where it's gonna get the highest. Sorry, Nage. <laughs> okay, there's those last two again. And a hint it starts on concert G. Concert G. Okay. Now, putting that all together is going to be a bit of a beast. That's okay. Um, we're going to try it a couple times through. And I'd like to have the, the impression, at least, of everyone doing it together uh, for the seniors. So they, they get at least something uh, for their uh, graduation. Um, and uh, lucky for you, you don't have to just put up with me on the trumpet. You get to put up with me on the piano, too. I've practiced and practiced. So uh, let's hope it's good. Gasp, oh God. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, Matthew, are, are, are you going to be taking over uh, Rusty's role next year? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> okay. So here we go on contra B flat. We'll go through it at least twice. Oh, and here's the plan. When, when we get to the end, um, the, uh, the, the, the first time we're just going to go, um, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, just normal. Okay, but the second time through, when we get to the end, we're gonna we're gonna draw it out. Uh, let's see. No, that's not it. Right. So it's got little little something extra to it. So the first time through is just as we practice. Second time through, just as we practice, except for the end. All right. Here we go. Everyone ready? Got your B flats. Horns up. Oh gosh, the marching band is coming back. Don't let it come back. <clears throat> okay. Uh, one, two, ready, and. Seniors, that was for you. Oh boy. <sighs> All right. Does anyone, before we go, have anything for the good of the order? Speak now. Or comment now. I do. Who's that, Rosie? Somebody? Rosie? I do, Dr. P. Who's that? Nina. Nina, hello, Nina. What do you got? What do you have to say? I just want to say, as somebody who graduated during the first year that Dr. Peace and Dr. Sheehy and all the new faculty were here, we didn't get a chance to have these guests that are sitting here, and I am in like super awe right now, just on Zoom with them. So uh, I hope those of you who have been here or been at Hartwick for a couple years realize how lucky you are to have Dr. Pease and the connections that he has to bring to the department, especially as somebody who uh, was involved in um, searching for his position, because believe me, we had a couple of candidates for the job that he got that were not fantastic. So I hope you guys realize how lucky you are, really. Nina, that means a lot. Thank you. Uh, Wow, um, I, so, but really, this is this is about the seniors. Um, 
uh, and you guys, you guys really, uh, as Dr. Sheehy said, we, we, we grew up together and yeah, you're not allowed to leave. She's saying that in the chat right now. Um, uh, everyone else, like, look, th this this was a crummy way to end our year, but think about all, all we did, uh, we're, we're able to do, even this semester. We had that concert for the seniors. Um, we started getting ready for Carnegie Hall. Uh, it would have been a great show, um, but we didn't get to have it, but we still di did some really interesting things um, uh, with, with, with our time in this. Um, I, I, I do have to uh, put a plug out now for please do your course evaluations and your survey. Um, and please be candid because who knows what's going to happen in the future. Uh, we, we need to chart the best possible path forward. Um, but uh, now uh, we, we must sign off. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you especially to our guests who were here. Um, it's so wonderful to, to see the Hartwick Wind Ensemble community uh, just spread all, all over uh, like this. Uh, it's, it, it's really wonderful. And it's so good alums to, to see you guys uh, healthy and uh, doing stuff and many of you still playing your instruments. That's, that's really wonderful. Um, so uh, if, uh, I'm sure you'll be getting more emails from me before the, the uh, year ends. Uh, if you need anything over the summer or any, any time in the future, uh, don't be afraid to get in touch. Uh, lo lots is going to happen between now and the fall. No one knows what it's going to be like, but we, we're going to do our best to chart a, a good course forward. So for the last time, thank you, and we will see you again. Thank you.